In this video, we're going to illustrate an increasing cost production possibility curve. These types of curves are more realistic uh, to what actually happens in the real world. Uh, and, and what makes them uh, more realistic is uh, here we have workers with different skill levels. This is the key. Uh, this this uh, information about the workers themselves. So our first worker can pick either one carrot or five apples because he happens to be quite tall. The second worker who's medium height can pick one carrot and three apples. And the third worker who's short uh, could pick one carrot or one apple. So I know the scenario is a little bit contrived, but the the idea conveyed by the scenario is real to life. Uh, workers are better at certain things than at others. So let's say that we started off with at point A, uh, where we can pick either three carrots, uh, where we're picking three carrots and no apples. Now my question to you would be, which of the three workers would you want to switch to picking apples first? Um, would you want to pick worker one, worker two, or worker three? And my guess is that you're going to say worker one because we give up with worker one, we give up one carrot, but we gain five apples. So we end up here. Uh, let's see. At point B. Um, and virtually every decision maker. Uh, in the world would make that choice. It's in your self-interest to do it. You're giving up the least to get the most. Um, and then, so let's say we wanted to switch out and have only uh, one worker picking carrots and one worker picking apples. Well, we're going to take worker two uh, and switch them over to picking uh, apples. So now we're at point C where we're picking either eight apples and one carrot. And then finally, if we want to pick all apples, we would switch our last worker. So that's going to be at point D. If we connect the dots here, you can see we've got the beginnings of a an increase. Well, we actually do have an increasing cost curve. It's simple, but we have one. Now, let me prove to you that it is, in fact, an increasing cost curve. Let's say that uh, we start with carrots, um, all carrots, and when we go from point A to point B, we give up one carrot and we gain five apples. So what we give up is on top, um, or is the uh, numerator, and what we gain is the denominator. So we give up one carrot, we gain one apple. That means that each apple costs us one-fifth or 0.2 carrots. Uh, when we go from point B to point C, we give up one carrot, we gain three apples. Our opportunity cost then is 0.33 carrots. Notice, increasing opportunity cost. Finally, when we go from point C to point D, we give up one carrot, we gain one apple. Our opportunity cost is one full carrot. So increasing uh, cost throughout. Now let's go the other direction and see if it holds, see if this, uh, what we're doing holds. So if we go start with apples and we go from point D to point C, then we're giving up one Apple for one carrot, our opportunity cost is one apple. When we go from point C to point B, we give up three apples for one carrot. Our opportunity cost is three apples. And finally, when we go from point B to point A, we give up five apples for one carrot. Our opportunity cost is five apples. So. Um, the, the setup for increasing cost curves is that we are going to make, we're going to switch inputs uh, in a way that works to our advantage, that keeps our opportunity cost low initially, and then 
as we get closer and closer to producing all of the other product, the opportunity cost will go up. It's human nature.